if you're going to achieve anything at all uh, in the way of getting legislation amended, in the way of punchy criticism of the government which will resonate and impress other people, you've got to do a great deal of spade work. You've got to do a great deal of research. You've got to be the master of the facts. You've got to know the history of the measure and what came before it. And what I think has been so valuable has been the work done by the Christian Institute to brief individual peers and individual MPs on matters which they think of great concern. And we, as a result of that very detailed briefing, have been prepared and able to take the government on. I remember having a very large post bag on this subject of uh, uh, stirring up hatred against people on grounds of sexual orientation. A lot of those letters were used in debate, some by myself, some by colleagues, but they certainly made a huge impact in Parliament. Well, we are living in, uh, uh, at a time when Christian beliefs are under attack. Uh, it's something I never thought that I would see during my lifetime. And so, uh, for the first time, for a very long time, we are uh, compelled to state our beliefs very, very clearly. And when issues arise, which clearly are matters which affect our faith, we have got to be prepared to state our case before the public. Um, and we're doing that very well, but we're only doing it well because we've got good organization and good briefing behind us. And I think that's the role of the Christian Institute, and it's a role it's fulfilling very, very well indeed. I think that uh, you do achieve things by deciding that what you're doing is right and is the Christian way forward, and you've jolly well got to pull out all the stops and fight for it. And I think that's the attitude of the Christian Institute. And, uh, well, good luck to it, I say.